First, I would say the people in Orlando are its essence, and we are a broad melting pot of people. And what's wonderful about Orlando is we are very accepting. You don't have to be third generation in Orlando to be part of Orlando. And I think part of that comes from the fact that we have been a destination and we welcome the world here. I don't think that there's an exact model. Um, Orlando is a very unique city. We certainly borrow best practices and pieces from lots of different cities, but I want other people to use Orlando as the example of what type of city they want to be. For instance, the layout of Savannah with the squares and the walkability. I like the waterfronts and the vibrancy of a number of cities. Uh, Chicago comes immediately to mind. Sculpted artwork in cities from to Seattle to Philadelphia to Chicago come to mind. One of the aspects of Portland that I like is their sustainable practices and how pretty much everybody there has bought into that. It's exciting time right now to be in Orlando because we're charting our path right now. A lot of cities have kind of made their history and they've set their course and they're like a battleship. It's hard to change that course, but we're maneuverable right now and we're in the midst of creating what we're going to be. Our diversity and the fact that we embrace diversity is a great strength. Uh, one that's not recognized as much is that we have big city amenities with a smaller city environment. People f know each other and they feel like they don't live in a giant city. They feel connected. Brand names probably in the world. You go anywhere just about in the world and people know Orlando, right? They might not know Florida, but they know Orlando. But then the next thing they know is Disney World or Universal or SeaWorld. So it's a great advantage to be that well known, but we're basically unknown in terms of everything else that Orlando offers other than the tourism experience.